And non-consciously, we can smell that in a potential partner. So if someone has a bad smell, or if they have a, a smell of anxiety, stress, and overwhelm, do we attract that if we're also overwhelmed, stressed, and anxious, or do we repel that and want someone else who has a smell of peace and a healthy immune system? Well, I just want to be really like, I want to stay very, I love this analogy, but in terms of the science, we're not necessarily smelling those words that you've used. Sure, sure. Um, with the stress thing, I think we talked about this last time, that cortisol is contagious. So you would be impacted by the cortisol having a physiologic impact physiological impact on your stress levels from someone else yeah so you can smell the stress on someone no i, I want to separate those things okay. so the the stress hormone um leaks out around us and it, and it affects each other's blood levels of the stress hormone wow i wouldn't say that we can't say scientifically at the moment that you're actually smelling that but it's having an impact on your blood levels the smell thing is more to do with the immune system 